Hey guys, Jedi Marine here with another Semper Sundays today. Sorry, I was adjusting my headphones. Today doing a special, what I consider to be a special Semper Sundays, in that this man was just awarded his Medal of Honor uh, damn near 50 years after, after the actions that earned him that medal. And to me that makes it special because for whatever reason, and I'm not sure, I haven't looked into it, uh, it took them that long <coughs> to decide that he earned <coughs> sorry, this Medal of Honor. And to me, it goes without a doubt that this guy earned it. Uh, his name is Command Sergeant, Command Sergeant Major Benny Adkins. Uh, he is an old fellow now, obviously, you know, 50 years after, after this situation. Uh, but he, amazing warrior, absolutely amazing. The well, so let me just read this. It's not the actual citation. Um, this was on. You can find this. I'll have the link in the description. It's the Army website that talks about him. Um, but I'm reading from the about the battle or the battle part of it. So let's do it. Command Sergeant Major Benny G. Atkins distinguished himself during 38 hours of close combat fighting against enemy forces on March 9th to the 12th. So it's technically spread over 30. Or three days. It was like an 82-hour uh, situation that he found himself in. Uh, at the time, then Sergeant First Class Atkins serving it, was serving as an intelligence intelligence sergeant with Detachment A-102 Fifth Special Forces Group, First Special Forces at Camp A. Shao in the Republic of Vietnam. When Camp A. Shao was attacked by a large Vien North Vietnamese force in early mornings. Hours of March 9th, Sergeant First Class Atkins rushed through the intense enemy fire and manned a mortar position defending the camp. He continued to mount a defense even while incurring wounds from several direct hits from enemy mortars. Upon learning that several soldiers were wounded near the center of camp, he temporarily turned the mortar that he had. Uh, you know, the defense that he mounted was with his mortar. It was with the mortar. Uh, he temporarily turned over the mortar to another soldier and ran through exploding mortar rounds and dragged several comrades to safety. As the hostile fire subsided, Adkins exposed himself to sporadic sniper fire and carried his wounded comrades to a more secure position at the camp dispensary. Sergeant First Class Adkins exposed himself to enemy fire transporting a wounded casualty to an airstrip for evacuation. He and his group then came under heavy small arms fire from members of the civilian and regular defense group that had defected to fight with the North Vietnamese. Despite this overwhelming force, Atkins maneuvered outside the camp to evacuate a seriously wounded American and draw fire away from the aircraft, all the while successfully covering the rescue. Later, when a resupply airdrop landed outside the camp perimeter, Atkins again moved outside the camp walls to retrieve the much needed supplies. During the early morning hours, of March 10th, enemy forces launched their main assault. Within two hours, Sergeant First, First Class Atkins was the only defender firing a mortar weapon. And all mortar weapons are pretty much two man. Uh, some are four, so the fact that he was doing this by himself is incredible. Uh, when all mortar rounds were expended, Atkins began, replace, began placing effective rifle fire upon the enemy as they infiltrated the camp perimeter and assaulted his position. Despite receiving additional wounds from enemy rounds exploding on his position, Adkins fought against relentless waves of attacking North Vietnamese soldiers. Adkins then withdrew to regroup with a smaller element of soldiers at the communications bunker. While there, he single-handedly eliminated numerous insurgents with small arms fires, almost completely exhausting his supply of ammunition. Braving intense enemy fire, he returned to the mortar pit, gathered vital ammunition, and evaded fire while returning to the bunker. After the order was given to evacuate the camp, Sergeant First Class Atkins and a small group of soldiers destroyed all signal equipment and classified documents and dug their way out of the rear of the bunker and fought their way out of the camp. Because of his efforts to carry a wounded soldier to an extraction point and to leave no man behind, Sergeant First Class Atkins and his group were unable to reach the last evacuation helicopter. Atkins then rallied the remaining survivors and led the group into the jungle, evading the enemy for 48 hours until they were rescued by a helicopter on March 12th. During the 38-hour battle and 48 hours of escape and evasion, Atkins fought with 
mortars, machine guns, recoilless rifles, small arms, hand grenades, and single-handedly killed an estimated 135 to 175 of the enemy and sustaining 18 different wounds. Sergeant First Class Atkins' extraordinary heroism and selflessness above and beyond the call of duty are keeping are in keeping with the highest traditions of military service and reflect great credit upon himself, Detachment A-102, 5th Special Operations Group, 1st Special Forces, and the United States Army. Not to mention that during once they started evading, uh, after a while the, the North Vietnamese started to leave them alone uh, to an extent because a tiger fucking started following them. And I'll have to look up to see if they ended up engaging the tiger, but... A fucking tiger started stalking these these wounded Americans, and they were still able to evade, evade at the very least evade the tiger. So this dude's absolute beast mode. There, there's no there's no way around it. Being credited with 135 to 175 of the enemy killed, not to mention all the guys that he wounded. All the while sustaining 18 different wounds himself. And for fighting, and I imagine not sleeping for, for three days, is absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. So definitely, if you guys haven't, uh, you know, seen what this man looks like and seen, and, you know, read up on him, then, then please do so. I'll have the link for the Army uh, the army page, and so you can go check that out. Uh, but he was just awarded his Medal of Honor. By the time I post this video, it'll probably be about a week, uh, you know, a week prior, so... Definitely go learn about this guy. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. Alright, guys. If you have any questions, concerns, comments for me, hit me up. And I'll see you in the next one. Semper Fi.